This week on Machinery Pete TV, the Lawson Retirement Auction wraps up with a record-setting price on this magnificent John Deere 4850. What a pair! We'll meet the owner of these international beauties. And YouTube star Aaron Holbert reminds us to be careful out there. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. Well, for many of my 32 years, folks, the rule was to see a really strong auction price on a tractor. It had to be pretty low hours. Well, of course, the last 12 to 18 months, that has not been the case. And on our show today, I think we're going to see this trend in practice. We're going to watch a 1984 John Deere 4850 sell 6,201 hours, but super nice condition. Now stay tuned for that, but first, we got to go back to the studio to catch up on the latest farm equipment news. Thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Empty grocery store shelves aren't just an issue in the U.S. right now. It's a growing problem in Canada. Jason Kinney, the premier of Alberta, sharing pictures on Twitter of empty store shelves sent to him from across the province. At issue, a recent vaccine mandate that went into effect for truckers earlier this month. Now, it requires truckers to be vaccinated before crossing the border. The truckers were previously exempt from federal travel restrictions. The Canadian Trucking Alliance estimating that the mandate may force about 20% of the 160,000 Canadian and American cross-border truckers off the road. Several truckers taking to the road to protest under the banner Freedom Convoy 2022 in an effort to fight the mandate. They started in Vancouver over the weekend. The convoy expected to reach Ottawa on Saturday. A California judge has halted the implementation of Prop 12 in the state. He says it's a complex issue and the regulation rules still aren't written. The judge saying enforcement would be delayed until 180 days after the final rules go into effect. China will allow gene-edited crops in a push for food security. China's Ag Ministry publishing new guidelines amid several measures aimed at overhauling its seed industry. The draft rules, they say that once gene-edited plants have completed pilot trials, a production certificate can be applied for, skipping the lengthy field trials required for the approval of genetically modified crops there. Now let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. Now back to our host, Machinery Pete. Well folks, I know all types of equipment these days just keeps getting bigger and bigger, 24, 48 row planters, but you know what? It is fun to watch a sharp 12 row model sell, and that's what we've got here at 2007 John Deere 1760, 12 row, 30 inch wing fold. Okay, folks, time to feature something we haven't, I don't think, in nine years of Machine Repeat TV, a John Deere 1690 soybean special no-till drill. This is a very nice 30-foot model. Now, the average auction price, the last 13 1690s I've seen sold, $26,281. Thirty-five, 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 thirty
Folks, a real treat here. I'm with uh, one of the greatest auction guys I know. Greater <laughs> Real Estate and Auction Company. Now, don't laugh. I mean, yeah, I, I appreciate your friendship all these years, Ritter, and uh, you've, you've uh, taught me a lot about the industry. And I, I'm just curious now, at this point, how, how many years is it for you in the biz? A lifetime. Yeah, I spent a lifetime. I was related to Denzel Schrader at Star Schrader Auction Company. My mom was his first cousin. Grabbed me when I was a small child, and and I worked through the business. Okay, so here we sit, uh, late 2021, Ritter, and just tell me what still gets, because it seems like you're excited every day when we talk about auctions. What what lights you up about the business uh, these days? Well, what lights me up is number one, the, the Lord Jesus Christ. He, he's a great, great individual. Make your life easy if you just trust in Him. But what also excites me is very clean equipment the challenge it's not a challenge so much but to get it lined up and to see equipment every every family's different i know this is one of your things too that uh to meet these families and to to such an important thing for them to sell today it's not right. just selling your equipment it, it's an emotion of a, right. a business is stopping right. it's very important you never can get calloused of that right. All right, folks, it's planner time, and we've got a really sharp 2007 John Deere 1760 12-row 30-inch wing fold model here. Now, if you go to our website, machinerypeat.com, click on auction prices. Of course, it's all free to look at now, and if you punch up a John Deere 1760 12-row, we've seen 44 sold this year. The average auction price coming into the sale today, 22,504 bucks. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. No other cornhead works like a Drago, or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeat's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data.
Hey folks, I have a special guest here uh, to talk about uh, the current farm equipment market, Gary Reynolds, chairman with Reynolds Farm Equipment. And Gary, I know your parents uh, got into the John Deere dealership, uh, started it in Fishers, Indiana. Was it 1955? 19, December 55. Okay, yes. so you, you basically grew up in the business. I've grown up in the business and loved every minute of it, or most of it. I wouldn't say the 80s was real yeah. fun, but... but uh, well, Gary, I mean, have you seen anything like this here at 2021? Uh, in, anything to compare it to over the years? No, this is the highest I've seen all machinery, used machinery bring. Uh, uh, I've seen times when tractors sold good. I've seen time when certain pieces of equipment would sell good, but I've never seen a time when everything is selling good, even harvesting equipment, which is always tough. And probably one of the main reasons is it was so many big dollars. It was hard for people to get them financed the day of the sale and, and all those things, but I've never seen it any better. What, what would be your projection looking ahead into the new year, 2022 and 23, with the supply chain? Is there any guidance when this might be resolved? No. In fact, uh, we're just coming off of deer, a strike with deer, and uh, those set things back five or six weeks. And the worst thing about it, it, in the course of a year, that doesn't look bad. But when you're right here, a course of ahead of spring, and trying to get corn planters delivered, it's going to take its toll. Um, most of our big products are already pre-sold, but we won't get as many as we got last year. There just won't be as much new equipment. Hey, welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, a special treat for you from my home state of Minnesota. My friend Danny Anderson and his special International 1086 and 886. Serial number 8602. So this tractor here would be the second one that was built. The 1086 over there, that one's pretty loaded up. It's got, you know, the bigger front rubber 1116. It's got 20.838 rears. It's got the heavy duty three point hitch. Got three remotes on it. Has a hydraulic seat in it. Pretty amazing that I would end up with two of one and two. That just doesn't happen, you know. Very unique tractors. I, I use both of them. Um, hauled corn to town and beans with them both last fall and kind of fun to get to use them. And these tractors would have been used at Hinsdale Engineering, you know, back in the day and at, at the photo farm at Hickory Hills. Uh, they would have went around to the farm shows and stuff like that for the introduction of the 86 series tractors and would have been used in the still photos for the brochures, service manuals, that, that type of thing. And, then when they were done with these tractors, just like the 1206s, then they went back to Hinsdale and then Hinsdale sold them off and the dealer, a dealership could buy them and then resell them to the public. That's how the tractors ended up out in the country. The 886 had its hands full this fall though when I was hauling 650 bushels of corn to town with two wagons behind it. It was a bit of a load for an 80 some horsepower tractor. That tractor's pretty loaded up for, for back in the day. Most 1086s all come with 18 438s and 1016 fronts and they wouldn't have had the heavy duty three point. They wouldn't, most of the tractors all had two remotes on them. These tractors, obviously this one, when I got it, I looked at the hours on it and that 1086 came from Northeast Iowa, well, down, just north of the Quad Cities is where that tractor, so it didn't make it very far from the Farmall plant, but these two tractors have within 100 hours of each other on them. They're right around 6,000 hours on them, so. Well, folks, I have a soft spot in my heart for the year 1984. It's when ancient Machine Repeat graduated high school. Now stick around, we're gonna watch an 84 model 4850 cell, 6,201 hours. I think this thing could be a hot seller. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out The Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. Got equipment to sell? Sell it on the Machine Repeat monthly online auction. Call 844-727-6374 and we'll connect you with one of our auction partners to get your equipment listed. Well folks, time for the feature item on our show today, and I think this is going to be really interesting. We got an 84 John Deere 4850, 6,201 hours on it. Now, coming into the sale today, the highest auction price I've ever seen on a 4850 with over 5,000 hours is 49,000 bucks. 
sold by our same auction company today, Schrader Real Estate and Auction, December 8th, 2020 in Kinsman, Ohio. Now today, I think we might just zoom way past 49,000. It was Joni's tractor. Oh my goodness. It was Joni. Yeah. Now Well, folks, we thought there might be a hot bidding on our feature item, the 1984 John Deere 4850, 6,201 hours, and boy, we were right. Sells for 50,000 bucks. That's the highest auction price ever on a 4850 with over 5,000 hours, and actually, it's the seventh highest auction price I've ever seen on any 4850. Hey folks, I'm here with Aaron Holbert. I'm sure all of you know Aaron from social media, YouTube and Instagram, uh, and your wonderful store, Heart of the Midwest, shop.com, Aaron. Now, your social media style, you are extremely open and honest, which yes. I think, and I watch a lot of other ag people on YouTube, and I just have to commend you. The way you do it, you're just being you, is powerful and it works. And I mean, you share everything. Uh, yep. I do. <laughs> Behind us, this John Deere 4730 sprayer, back end of September, you had a, a tough accident. Can you walk us through that? I did. We were actually switching the tires out from the summer to the winter tires, you know, and my dad and our hired hand, Jeff, they were right there um, working on that, and I was washing them, and I needed to get to the other side, and even though they were right there, that split second decision that I can move that tire a couple feet by myself definitely backfired. Mm. And the tire came over? It did, it fell over on me. Oh, and you wound up oh, breaking so your foot. I did, yep. Wow. I was lucky I didn't have to have surgery, but it's been a couple, long couple months. So did you, did you hesitate at all about sharing that, that tough uh, thing that happened to you? I didn't really want to share it. It was embarrassing because it was something that I, I knew better than to try to move that tire, especially by myself. But obviously it would be weird if I wasn't um, in the tractor and all of a sudden I had a broken foot. And so I just went with the route of being honest and open about what happened and hopefully, you know, keeping someone else from making the same mistake. Erin, I, I got to say the, that video, you, you were talking about the aftermath mm -hmm. of the accident and you kind of choked up. You were obviously in a ton of pain, but you were feeling bad for your dad. I did. I felt terrible. I gave both my dad and Jeff a heart attack um, because they were right there. They got it off of me within a couple of minutes but they were not able to lift it off. They ha I had to wait till they got the forklift under it to get my other leg out, so. Now I understand also that when the tire was taken off you, then you drove yourself, what are you, about 45 minutes from Terre Haute? Yes. Why did you drive yourself, Aaron? I knew they were busy and um, my dad wanted to start shelling corn that afternoon. So I was like, I already, this is a huge inconvenience. So I'll just take myself. You I just can drive with my right foot. Yes, I didn't tell them I was leaving. Did, did Pop get a little upset about that? He was not happy about that. Well folks, any day you get to see a John Deere 4850 sell for 50,000 bucks, that's a good day. And uh, thank you for joining us on the show today here from Noblesville, Indiana. Just a treat to be here for the farm retirement sale for Terry and Joni Lawson. We're glad they had a great sale. And we hope you join us next week back here on Machinery Pete TV. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. 
Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. <laughs>